everybody, this is Steve Krause and welcome to English 328 Online for Fall 2010. Uh, this is a short video just to introduce things for the class and to kind of walk you through some of the basic things we'd be expecting for the term. Um, I'm assuming, and I'm looking at my computer right here, uh, I'm assuming that you're going to read through the course syllabus and the material that's on engl 328stephendkrausecom uh, that's where all the course material is going to be. We're going to use uh, EMU online uh, just for the gradebook function and a few other sort of technicalities like that. Um, anyways, I assume that you're going to read all this. So I just want to talk about a few uh, other issues that aren't necessarily captured in there. Um, first off, about the books, there are uh, two books. One is this one. It's called Style by Joseph Williams, Style Toward Clarity and Grace. And I uh, indicate it's this yellow trade book. Uh, as opposed to a textbook, because sometimes there's, Wood, Joseph Williams also wrote a bunch of textbooks that had the word style in it, so don't get that, get this one. The other one is that you need to get, and this, this is the one I order, this is E.B. White and uh, a William Strunk Jr.'s classic, uh, The Elements of Style. It's a good chance you, well, there's a chance you might have a copy of this already. You can get this used anywhere, and if you get an older version, for example, here's one from the uh, late 70s, early 80s, that's okay too. And here's another one that we'll talk about at some point. This is this is a hardcover version. This is uh, the illustrated uh, Elements of Style. It has pictures in it. If you want to get that one, that's, too, that's fine too. There's a, there's a book out that's just William Strunk. Don't get that. Make sure you get the one that's most Strunk and White. One thing uh, you, you'll notice too, especially for those of you who've been around EMU for a while, the uh, Prey Herald is closed. And that means that my office is in now 808 Hoyt, which is one of the tower dorms. Uh, as I say in the syllabus, I'm going to print out a copy here. As it says in the syllabus, my uh, office hours are 11 to uh, 1.30 Monday through Wednesday. But I really prefer to meet with people by appointment. My experience is that most online students are actually taking classes on campus, so face-to-face -face is great. Uh, but we can work out something over Skype or Tiny Chat or one of these other sort of tools that we'll be playing with a little bit this term to have a synchronous discussion online. Um, there's my, and I'm also experimenting this semester with Google Voice, so you can call me and leave me a message and then that will send me an email that I'll either respond to via email or via the phone or something like that. I know I've dwelt on the online course responsibility thing uh, in an email that I sent to everyone before the class began and I explain it more here. You know, I had some students last semester, or last year, who um, were under the impression that taking this class online would make it easier. And that really isn't the case. I, the, the same kind of content material that's in the online version of the class is in the face-to-face -face version of the class and vice versa. So it's not an easier way of taking English 328. In fact, in many ways, it's a, it's a more difficult way because as we'll get to talk about participation in a second, you really have to demonstrate presence in a way in an online class that's different from a face-to-face -face class. Uh, it doesn't save you time. It allows you to shift time. So in other words, instead of being tied to a schedule where you know we're meeting every Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 to 2.15 or 1 to 2.30 or something like that, you can some Mondays log in at 8 o'clock in the morning, some Mondays log in at 9 o'clock at night, uh, maybe do some, in other words, you have, you have a, a lot of flexibilities as opposed to how you manage the class. However, there is a specific schedule that we'll get to when we talk about the schedule, when I expect people to participate in terms of posting stuff and, and participating in discussions. And it's, this class is like a small section that you might have. In other words, this is not like a lecture hall class where you sit there and you listen and you take notes. This is like a small section class where there's 20, 25 people and part of what the activities involve is the social engagement with each other in the, in the course. Basically the class breaks down into three categories of things that are graded. The first is participation and one of the things that's interesting about participation in an online class versus a face-to-face -face class is that the only way that you can demonstrate your presence in an online class is actually by participating. So in a face-to-face -face class, you could participate in some fashion uh, and demonstrate your participation by sitting in a classroom and, and uh, with visual cues demonstrating that you're actually paying attention to what other people are saying. 
uh, you know, nodding and taking notes and paying attention and things like that. In an online class, I can't look into that camera and figure out what it is that you're paying attention to or not paying attention to. The only way that uh, I can see what you're doing and what other people are doing is if you actually demonstrably do something um, in terms of participation. So that's why participating in the discussions on, uh, on the engl 328stevendkrausecom website are going to be so important. Okay. Generally speaking, and I'll mention this when we get to the schedule, generally speaking, I expect people to begin participating on Mondays and Wednesdays for particular units of the course. And I have carved into the class a weekend so that you can actually have some version of a weekend. Um, but pay, we'll pay attention to those schedules. Participation includes talking to thread discussions, the group work, which we'll talk about uh, as, a, as the last project for the term, uh, all the other sorts of usual things in terms of learning about technology and such. And we'll talk about how I grade participation a little bit later, which basically uh, means that you will send me an email about what grade that you think. The second component of the class is keeping a blog. Uh, this, this is not a blog where you write about anything. This is a blog where you will respond to specific prompts that I uh, created for the class, and you will see what I mean very soon. Um, the most important part of doing these blog posts is that you do them, and that you do them on time throughout the course of the term. Uh, you'll also be using your blogs as the place to host your um, uh, essay project for the class, and that we'll get to in the next section here, which is on um, major writing projects. Um, you can read through those and, through, through those and, and the details of what these projects will be will become very clear uh, as we go along. There are essentially four. Um, and even though it's kind of like listed as kind of four and a half, you'll see what I mean. Um, the two things that I'll mention right now is that all the projects will be posted to uh, your WordPress.com site, which you'll be setting up very, very soon at the beginning of the term. Um, the details of this will emerge soon enough. And it's something to think about in terms of like how you want to present yourself um, publicly on the internet. So you may want to, if you want to assume a pseudonym, that's fine. Uh, I will only, re only refer to people by their first name and last initial, and I'll never post great information uh, on any sort of public space. Uh, we'll read more about revisions later on. There's actually a final at the end of the term that everybody has to do, but it's worth very few points. One last thing I'll mention about the writing projects before I forget. The last writing project is a collaborative project, and so you'll be working with each other in small groups. Um, believe it or not, this works as well in an online class as it does in a face-to-face -face class, and I think it's a really important project and important lesson, and we'll get to that uh, soon, soon enough. But I just want to alert you right off the bat that you may, you're may you going to have to interact with other people, not only for that last project, but for discussing uh, each other's pro essays and peer review and discussing the readings and things like that. This is not a one-to-one -one sort of correspondence course. Uh, then I explain grades and things like that at the end of this, and any other sorts of details in terms of, of the syllabus. Now, in terms of the schedule, generally speaking, and turn around looking at my computer here briefly, generally speaking, uh, the schedule says stuff like begin by Wednesday and complete by Friday, or begin by Monday and complete by uh, Wednesday. So, for example, uh, on Monday, it says, for uh, September uh, 13th, it says read and discuss selections from Plato's Phaedrus. Read and discuss Walter Ong's uh, Rise of Technology that Restructures Thought, which is available on e-reserves, and continue discussion of your own venture and writing technology project, which we're going to start talking about this week. What that means is I expect everyone in class to post a comment on the, the class blog regarding these reading assignments by the end of the day on Monday. Okay? You, we start the discussion on Monday people post their initial comments and then they respond to other people we have a discussion and then that wraps up by about Wednesday and then we repeat the whole thing on Wednesday through Friday it's important that you start the discussions on Monday because if you wait until Wednesday to post it's too late to have a discussion okay so make sure that you that you do that um, okay I think that's a brief rundown of uh, the, everything you need to know uh, below here I've got a space for people to introduce themselves, so be sure to do that. Just you know, say hi. Hi, my name is whatever. And again, just if you want to use just your first name, that's fine because you know, if you don't care about these things, you want to put it up to the last name, that's fine too. Um, pick an avatar with the uh, which is part of what you need to do when you set up your WordPress.com site. It's pretty easy to do. I got a link down down there for how to do that. And ask whatever questions that you might have, and and uh, we'll get started with the, with the uh, with the term. Okay.
Welcome aboard.